Hi everyone, my name is Abraham Zavala. I'm one of the gynecologists at Tom Bray Advanced Reproductive Medicine. And today I wanted to take some time to talk about one of the medications that your doctor might prescribe during IVF stimulation. As you know, there are many types of IVF stimulation protocols that use different medications. And we feel that by sharing this information with patients, it can empower patients in their own treatment decisions. So the medication that I wanna to talk to you today is called letrozole. Okay, letrozole is what we call an aromatase inhibitor, which may sound a little more complicated than what it is. So I wanna to talk to you about this medication. Okay, we'll be speaking about letrozole in the context of IVF stimulation, not in the context of artificial insemination or ovulation induction. Okay, so first we need to talk about how your body works normally. Okay, so we'll have the brain and the ovary with its follicles. So the brain is going to send a signal that's going to stimulate the follicles. This hormone is called FSH or follicle stimulating hormone. Okay? So this hormone is going to get the follicles growing and these growing follicles are going to produce estrogen. Specifically a type of estrogen called stradiol, which we will call E2. And this estrogen is going to give your brain the signal to either reduce or stop producing the FSH. Now, this is what happens normally. And the reason why we add letrozole, I'm gonna change uh, colors here, is because it's letrozole is going to block an enzyme called the aromatase, which is in charge of producing that estrogen, okay? So by blocking that key enzyme or by inhibiting the aromatase enzyme, it's going to reduce the amount of estrogen produced. Now, this is going to provide us with two benefits during your cycle. On one hand, you're going to uh, probably experience less of the side effects that come with estrogen. But the key reason why we use this is because it's going to boost the amount of FSH that your body produces because by not sensing the, the estradiol, your brain's going to think that it needs to provide the follicles with more FSH so that they can produce estrogen. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching.